Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob and welcome to another uh, episode of The Art of War Red Tides. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit uh, tweak to the meat shield build. You can see um, what I wanna do is just hold on a second. Uh, I'm gonna mass produce the swift pangolin. Um, I just played and it uh, on this tactic and it works actually very very well uh, I have uh, bought the fiery minotaur I have not had a look at him really a lot but uh, what I want to change is I want to put in the deer now basically all that I'm gonna produce is the swift pangolin uh, the marks cat and the deer I'm gonna go quick match um, so I uh, if, if you're gonna do this uh, just you have to f uh, pull through with it because y it might seem that you will be losing in the beginning but uh, yeah I just played and I have I produced 40 swift pangolins at the, at the same time uh, coming into a fight Ooh, what am I doing come now uh, and they're quite cheap uh, the nice thing about the swift pangolins as well is uh, they have a very high movement speed uh, so they can get to the battles fast every time as you can see here uh, I'm gonna take mind control monkey morph and uh, let's take piranha let's go so he's gonna probably play grenadiers or commandos or some uh, kind of th oh okay no it's going jaguar that's fine with me. Um, so I want to stack the deers and the pangolins together. Um, so the deers, they heal extremely uh, well. They heal like 30 points HP per heal and they heal three uh, uh, units at the same time. It's like a chain healing. Um, they are extremely good uh, at healing, so I, I want to reinforce this. Um, I am looking forward this. To your performance in this okay, battle. wait. Let me just start off by building a detector. I just played a game where I didn't have a detector and they stacked up commandos, but I still won uh, at the end of the day because I had Monkey Morph and uh, Mind Control. Uh, I think he's gonna do the same thing with me. Let's move. He's gonna also do monkey morph and mind control, uh, but hopefully what I can do then, if there is a lot of them, I can mind control and monkey morph them as well, back to my side. Okay. Don't attack my... See how he's regening health? That's insane. Okay. So now basically you're just gonna uh, push the swift pangolin. Dominating. It might feel that they you're losing in the beginning but just pull through. Just build 30 of them at least. You'll see they, they become quite strong. A little bit later on. Uh, if you have enough of them. And they do very well, uh, they do very good uh, damage, they do like 25 damage per shot and they have 5 range which makes them quite good and uh, 120 uh, health uh, standard, if you upgrade them to th uh, 3 points they'll have 150 health, 3 armor which is quite good, it's very very nice and they're cheap, that's what makes them also very very uh, Ooh, I should probably upgrade your mine. <laughs> Got a little bit there. But it does not matter. Soul Essence Mines upgraded. You can see here they're starting to have a bit more of an effect. Dominating. What the? Wow, okay. That guy just used mind control on one 
of my creatures. I do not know why. There we go. Here comes the Basilisk. This guy clearly doesn't... Legendary. He's not... Well... Everyone has a first time. But it's okay. Just to show you guys how to use this. Uh, I've not used it in rank. I probably will try it once. just see that their health and their damage is very very good and now they're just starting to stack up they have 135 health already uh, it will be a little bit difficult to stop them look at look even a panda it takes their health just uh, down too slow they have just too much health They're starting to stack up, and that's the good thing, they're fast, so they can get to the fight pretty, pretty quickly, so that they reinforce themselves the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna go 20 swift pangolins, and then I'm gonna start with the deers. It's like little raptors, taking out everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with the deers. The deers will just reinforce them, help them just to be, uh, to heal up. I'm gonna go about six deers in the beginning and then mark scats. Mark scats I will bring in later. Uh, it's a it's a very nice combo with mark scats and deers, uh, with mark scats and swift pangolins because mark scats have an extremely long range. So now they are fully upgraded. You can see they have 150 health. Uh, deers will kill them, just keep them alive. Uh, I will upgrade the deers now as well, just to get, uh, get them more mana. Deers can attack in the air as well, which is great. Two more deers. Let's see how they're healing each other. Spandas are starting to get annoying. I can monkey morph, uh, mind control, and monkey morph them. I think I'm gonna do that now. Uh, and I'm gonna bring up the Swift Pangolins to 40, let's say. Ooh, nice. Now they're starting to stack up and this is what you want, especially with the deers and this healing. Uh, you can see that their, their healing it, uh, is just so, so, so strong. Take out this tower, man. Okay. 
these monkeys are still alive just because of my deers. The deers are just amazing healers. Okay. So this is gonna end already. I see all this, these swift pangolins having. Uh, it's just stacking up on top of each other. Let's get some more monkeys. There we go. You can see how they are healing. Look at this healing. It's insane how much these deers can heal. And now if I increase the energy, they'll just do more. More and more healing. This is just an incredible meat shield. Now, uh, normally I'll just start getting in the mar uh, I'll, I'll start getting in the marks cats. Let's upgrade their energy. Now the marks cats will just improve. Um, let's put down a piranha. Why not? Uh, the marks cats will just also increase damage and range. Look at this healing. This healing is intense. And that's game over. Wave 29. Now this guy didn't have a very good idea how to counter what I just did. Uh, but if you want to counter this, a good idea is to get um, biological units. Um, to uh, like units that do 200% damage to biological units. I mean like the Grenadier... Uh, the um, commando they all do very well against this uh, because the swift pangolin is a um, biological unit uh, their health is extremely high which makes them so good to do this with uh, you might lose the middle in the beginning but once you start building them up to getting around 20 30 of them uh, with some deers you'll just have a very very strong um, uh, front line and uh, which is very difficult to kill uh, because these deers you, you can see there how the health was dropping down and these deers just heal them up so fast again uh, also what you can do is just mix them with uh, some amethyst spiders or just normal spiders the normal spiders will just slow down the enemy team uh, not to be able to move that much um, yeah, but just this combo, this three combo is incredibly strong. Uh, Swift pangolins cannot, no, they cannot attack in the air. Uh, so you need, you might need to have the uh, the bow cat in there for any any uh, aerial attack. Um, but yeah, th this works really well. Um, Another thing that I would like to get is the uh, Copperhead. The Copperhead is extremely strong as well uh, because it is a barrage unit. But the thing is, he does a radi uh, damage to uh, two enemies, uh, 30 damage to two enemies. And um, he his range is 23, which makes him very, very strong. Uh, if you have let's say 15 swift pangolins and five of these you will do extremely well as well you'll do so much damage um but yeah that that's the build for now that i have uh i i feel it's a good idea uh f at the moment um sure if you if you have mind control and monkey morph that helps a lot especially if you're playing ranked now a lot of people play grenadiers they play commandos and uh, if you have uh, commandos and grenadiers and you monkey morph them, they will become like gorillas, which is very strong. Um, that's how I found a good way to counter uh, grenadiers and uh, commandos is by monkey morphing them. Uh, if they ban mind control, well, then it's a bit of a different story. You, you'll have to get a lot of mark scats. Mark scats do very, very well. Uh, against grenadiers and uh, commandos uh, just because uh, Mox cats have a 32 um, attack range 32 attack range is extremely far uh, if you oh wait let me just read you what it does 
He does, or, and he does area damage. Every two seconds, Markscat uses several arrows to attack the target and enemies within three radius, causing 40 damage to all of the units in that area, which is very, 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 very strong. Uh, but yeah, I actually like this build. It's a, it's a very easy way to uh, to win. Um, I'm pretty sure this will work in 3v3 as well, if you can. Uh, uh, bump it up um, Bump up the swift pangolins as well because they will stack on top of each other and they are they are very strong But uh, yeah, that's it for me guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little tip and uh, Please let me know what you think and uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye. Bye guys. See you a little bit later